Rachel Hansen here. I am super excited because I decided it might be fun to start a new little weekly Facebook Live series that I'm calling Simply Fun Cocktails to go along with my Simply Fun cooking um, group and business and TV show. Uh, so every Thursday I'm going to come to you guys live and I'm going to share a cocktail recipe for, with you guys. Um, something that you can try for the weekend and I'm here on Thursdays so that you can I uh, still have time to go get the ingredients you might need just in time for the weekend. So uh, today we are going to make a French 75. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the drink. I'm going to give you a little bit of history of it too, which I thought was kind of interesting. And uh, show you how to make it. Super simple. So we're going to be using the premium cocktail set. Uh, Pampered Chef just came out with this and it's really fun. And that's part of the reason why we're doing this is because I like to have fun making cocktails. So. They have a stainless steel shaker set here, uh, which is really nice. It's got measure marks. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's got measure mark like rings on the inside. So you can measure out right in there. Um, there's four ounces, six ounces, and then the other one has two and four ounces as well. So you can use those for measuring. Um, and then of course for shaking. And it comes with a nice spoon for stirring uh, because some drinks you want to stir and some drinks you want to shake, right? So we all know from uh, James Bond that some are shaken, some are stirred. However, he does his things backwards. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, we've got the strainer, it comes with a beer bottle opener, and then of course our jigger. And what's really nice about the jigger is, again, it's got measure marks inside. It's got uh, little lines from a fourth of an ounce all the way up to two ounces. Now the two ounce line is actually down a little ways. It's not all the way at the top, which means as you're measuring out, you're not going to be um, overfilling it, right? Because a lot of jiggers you have to go right to the top and then pour in and then you lose some of the alcohol. So that's no good, that's alcohol abuse. So this one's got the lines right in there so you don't have to go all the way to the top. All right, so the French 75, actually most cocktails out there follow a golden ratio. And so the golden ratio is two parts liquor, one part sweet, and one part sour. So if you follow that ratio, you can mix and match all sorts of different ingredients and come up with like your own signature cocktails, okay? So we're gonna start out with some ice, all right? You definitely need the ice. It's gonna help chill the drink as we make it, okay? And of course, we're also going to, when it's done, pour it over some ice. Now, I know a lot of people worry or get upset when they go to the bar and they feel like most of their drink is ice, right? And you feel like, oh, they're just jipping me alcohol. Actually, the ice serves a purpose. Um, it is part of the flavor of the drink. Um, and diluting it a little bit as you go is part of the flavor, all right? And so that's where the shaken versus stirred comes in. If you shake your beverage to chill it, you are gonna dilute it just a little bit with the ice, whereas if you stir, you'll chill it without diluting it as much. So the shaking comes into play when you are mixing like two different kinds of liquids together, say the, an alcohol and a juice, which is what we're gonna do today. Uh, but if you're mixing like two kinds of alcohol together, like gin and vermouth for a martini, you're going to wanna just stir it so that you don't dilute it. Okay, so today we are gonna have, remember we got two parts liquor, one part sweet, one part sour. So for our sweet, it is just simple syrup. Now simple syrup you can buy at the store, already made and ready to go, but honestly all it is is sugar water. So you can take equal parts sugar and water and just heat it up on the stove. So I did one cup of each, one cup sugar, one cup water, heat it up on the stove uh, just until it's all dissolved, it doesn't even need to boil, and then just let it cool. And then you can store it in a mason jar um, on your shelf or in your fridge, and it can save for up to six months, okay? Now you can play with your, your simple syrups. You could add berries, you can add herbs, you can give it some flavors that way too. So lots of different ways you can mix it up. So one part simple syrup, so we're gonna go up to one ounce. And we'll pour that over ice. Okay, so there's our sweet. Now we need one part sour. So we're gonna use a lemon. And we're gonna juice the lemon. You can use the citrus press or the juicer. All right. I like the, uh, the juicer for drinks. I like the citrus press when I'm making foods, uh, but the juicer's nice for drinks because it 
It gives you a little more uh, control of where the liquid is going, especially when you want to pour into a jigger. Okay, so now we've got, we've got the one part sweet. So we have one part sour and I'm turning this to strain so we don't get too much pulp. So one part sour is our fresh lemon juice. Oh my gosh, that was one ounce on the dot. That was perfect. Good job, lemon. Okay. And then we're gonna add two parts liquor. And today we're going to use gin. That's what goes into our French 75. Some of you on there may recognize this is Too Tall. It's from a distillery right here in Sun Prairie. It's delicious. Actually, I don't really like gin all that much, but I really like this gin. But I can't drink any other gin, only this one. So kudos to you guys over there for making a delicious, delicious gin. All right, so two parts gin going in. And now we're just gonna shake it up until until it's cold, okay? So it's gonna feel really cold on the outside. That's the nice thing about the stainless steel is you'll know it's ready. So put the, the other cup in, it goes in kind of at an angle, and then you just shake. And shake, shake, shake until it's cold. And it's like freezing, my hands are freezing now. All right, so you just knock this loose to come off, all right? And now we're going to strain it into a glass. Now the, the French 75 is very similar to a Tom Collins. So Tom Collins is the, the gin, the lemon, and the, um, what on earth is this called? The simple syrup, okay. So those with some, just some sparkling water, that's your Tom Collins. French 75 actually uses champagne. So we're going to just take this, and our strainer is fantastic. It fits right in there perfectly. All right, so we're gonna fill this about halfway with this mix, and then we'll tap it off with champagne. Now this is, this is exciting guys. So we have a champagne stopper. I opened this bottle on Tuesday when I was taping my cooking show for this month. And just listen when I open it, it's still bubbly. This thing works wonders, it's amazing. All right, so we're just gonna top this off with a little bit of champagne. Now you could garnish this with um, a piece of lemon. Uh, you could do like a lemon wedge or a lemon ring if you wanted. Uh, but traditionally it would be like a, a little lemon twist, like a piece of the rind that you would put in there just to give it um, a little decoration, just fancy it up a bit. So that's it. That's the French 75. Now this drink originated in France, believe it or not. Um, it's actually called the Soisant Quinze, which is French for 75, believe it or not. Um, and it was originally developed around World War I. So it's been around for a long time. And the recipe has changed a little bit over the years, but originally it was given the name uh, Soisant Cans because it really apparently gave you a nice kick and it felt like you were being hit by a 75 millimeter field gun. So it doesn't have that much kick anymore. Uh, this recipe I feel is really like nice and light and refreshing. So it would be a really great summer drink, which seems odd that we're doing this in October. But it's also a really great brunch drink. So if you're having some friends over for brunch and you want like a nice, you know, light cocktail that you can serve, this is going to be perfect. Plus you've got the champagne open so you can do mimosas as well. So um, this is the French 75. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today and um, I'll see you next Thursday. Cheers.